Okay, we're going to work on lesson 2.9 now. Lesson 2.9 is problem solving multi step multiplication problems. Our essential question for today on page 113 is when can you use the draw a diagram strategy to solve a multi step multiplication problem? So we drew diagrams in, for, in chapter 1, and now we're going to be using it with multiplication in chapter 2. So we're going to go straight into the question that unlock the problem. The Unlock the Problem says, at the sea park, one section of the stadium has nine rows with 18 seats in each row. In the center of each of the first six rows, eight seats are in the splash zone. How many seats are not in the splash zone? I'm going to use the graphic organizer to help solve the problem. Okay, so the first thing, I've read the problem. I need to figure out what do I need to find. So I'm going to un un underline what I need to find. Okay, so I go back to the question. Um, how many seats are not in the splash zone? So I'm underlining that. And in my graphic organizer, I need to find the number of seats that are not in the splash zone. Okay. What information do I need to use? So I'm going to circle, 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 circle the clues I need to use. Okay. So if I'm figuring out what, how many seats are not in the splash zone, when I go back to the, the problem, it says in the center of each of the si first six rows, eight seats are in the splash zone. Okay, I'm looking for those that are not in the splash zone. It says up here that nine rows with 18 seats in each row for the whole stadium. Okay, I want to know how many are not in the splash zone. They haven't really told me any numbers for not in the splash zone, so I have to use what I know about the whole stadium, nine rows with 18 seats in each row, and what is in the splash zone, six rows and eight seats in each in, are in the splash zone to help me figure out what's not. Okay, so when I go back to my graphic organizer, it says what information do I need to use? There are nine rows up here with 18 seats in each section, each row of the section. And then there are six rows with eight seats in each in the splash zone. Okay. Then it's asking, how will I use the information? Well, when I go back to the problem, since it says in each row, that tells me that I'm probably going to be multiplying since each row looks the same. Okay, same thing for the splash zone. It says each of the first six rows has eight seats. So that means each row has the same number of seats. So that means I can multiply. Now it says I can multiply to find both the number of seats in the section and the number of seats in the splash zone. My keyword was in each row. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and I'm going to solve the problem. Today's strategy is draw a diagram. So I drew a diagram down here of the section to show nine rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with 18 seats in each row. So this should be 18 across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay? And then in the center, I outlined a section of rows to show six rows of eight seats in the, that are in the splash zone. So I just went over eight seats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it's six rows back. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I just outlined that on my grid paper. I'm going to box it out. Okay, so now my diagram shows the total number of seats in the stadium, what's in the splash zone, and then everything else around it I know is going to be what's not in the splash zone. Okay, so right now I'm going to go ahead and figure out how many seats are in the stadium. If I have 18 times 9, Okay, I know that 8 times 9 is 72, so I'm going to put a 2 down and put, carry my 10 up, or my, my 7, sorry, to the 10's place. And then I'm going to multiply um, 9 times 1, which is 9, and then I'm going to add my 7, which is 16. So I have 162 as the total number of seats in the section. Now I need to know how many seats are in the splash zone, so I'm going to do 8 times 6, okay? 8 times 6 is 48, okay? So now what else do I need to do to figure out the total number of seats that are not in the splash zone? 
Right now I have the number that are in the section and the number that are in the splash zone. Okay, so down here when it says, what else do you need to do to solve the problem? I need to subtract the number of seats in the splash zone from the total number of seats in the section. So that means I'm going to do 162 minus 48. I'm going to do my work down below because I'm running out of room. So I'm going to regroup one of these, make that a 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. Then I'm going to do 5 minus 4 is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. So I believe that there are 114 seats not in the splash zone. Okay, now we're moving on to the problem on page 114 that says try another problem. I'm going to read the problem first. It says, at the sea park, one section of the shark theater has eight rows with 14 seats in each row. In the middle of the section, four rows of six seats are reserved. How many seats are not reserved? Okay, so I'm going to go back to the problem. I'm going to un un underline underline what I need to find. So I'm looking for how many seats are not reserved. So down here, I need to find the number of seats that are not reserved. Okay, then I need to go back to my problem and I'm going to circle, 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 circle the clues I need to use. Okay. So at the sea park, one section of the shark theater has eight rows with 14 seats in each row. And then in the middle, there are four rows of six seats that are reserved. Okay. So the theater, eight rows with 14 seats each. And the reserved section is four rows of six seats. Okay, so down at the bottom, how will I use the information that I've just gotten? Well, I know that since it says in each, that tells me that I'm going to multiply. So I can multiply. to find both the number of seats in the theater and in the reserved. Okay, now we're going to go on and go over and use the information that we have to solve the problem. Okay, so I'm going to draw a diagram to show eight rows of 14 seats. So eight rows, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to go all the way down. Okay, and then I have 14 seats in each row, so I'm going to go across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now, if you had grid paper, you could go ahead and make it on grid paper, and that'd be a little easier. But if you don't, you can go ahead and draw it yourself. Okay, and so now I'm just going to box it out, and very carefully, I'm going to draw my lines as straight as I can, so that I can see that I have eight rows. 
If you go too fast, it gets a little sloppy with 14 seats in each row. I'm double checking in my head as I go, four, five, They don't all have to be even, but they're pretty close, okay? And so now I know that I need to outline a section to show that the four rows of six seats that are reserved, okay, I'm gonna put it kind of in the middle. So I have one, two, three, four, and six seats over. One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. Wherever you put it is fine, okay? And I'm going to box out that area, and I'm going to go ahead and kind of lightly shade just so I can see where it is. Okay? All right. First, I found the total number of seats in the section. So I'm going to do, this was um, eight rows and 14 seats. So that would be 14 times eight. Should be four times eight is 32. So I regroup my three up there. Eight times one is eight plus three is 11. So I get 112 for the total number of seats. Now I need to know the total number of seats in the section. So from here to here was four rows and it was six seats. So I'm gonna do um, six times four, which I know is 24, okay? And the last step is I need to subtract the number of seats that are in the reserve section so I can figure out how many are not reserved. So I'm going to take the total number of 112. I'm going to subtract 24. Okay? So I can't do 2, take away 4. So I'm going to regroup 1 from here, make it 0, make this into a 12. 12 take away 4 is 8. And then I have 0, take away 2. I can't do that. So I'm borrowing 1 from here. And that becomes a 10, take away 2 is eight. So I believe that there are 88 seats that are not reserved. Okay, at the bottom it says, how did the diagram help you solve the problem? Well, for me, it helped me visualize or see the problem. Okay, now it's your turn, guys. You're going to turn the page to page 115, and you're going to do the Sharon's show. Okay, um, there are four questions in Sharon's show today, and two are the three, two and three are the ones that will be graded for our uh, groups. So make sure you start with those, and then finish up with the others.